Thank you for joining us. For Denver 7 News at 5, I'm Jessica Porter. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Now, it wasn't that long ago that Denver teachers went on strike for a hard-fought pay raise. Now they're being asked to give it back because of massive budget cuts because of the pandemic. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez found that many districts now are in the same boat. That was February last year when Denver teachers went on strike for more pay and won. Because of the pandemic and partial economic shutdown, DPS is now facing a $65 million budget shortfall. The district is asking classroom teachers to reopen provisions of the master agreement related to salary and benefits. If they want to take money from somewhere, it needs to come from somewhere else besides the teachers. Parents who supported the strike are not happy. One told us off camera that the only reason her children made it through the last semester of online learning was because of hardworking teachers. It's true. It's true. Sabrina Guevara Garcia says she struggled as a parent the last few months. Honestly, I don't think I could be a teacher. It was, excuse me, but it was hell trying to get these kids up, get them moving, get them going. The teachers union issued a statement saying DCTA recognizes that in the wake of a pandemic and economic crisis, everyone will need to make sacrifices and we are willing to go to the bargaining table to have this discussion about what is best for our students. It's not just DPS struggling. Cherry Creek schools looking at possible furloughs, salary and staff cuts. I'm worried about now what we're going to do and how we're going to be able to manage this without hurting students. And the reality is I don't know that that's possible um, without more revenue. Cherry Creek Education Association's vice president elect says the state needs to fully fund education. But until that happens, Cherry Creek may have to ask for a mill levy increase to help close the gap. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.